Alright everyone, hello and welcome to a playthrough of a game called Jump One Half. This is a game that I've been waiting to play for a long time now, and it's the sequel to probably my favorite uh, Super Mario World hack of all time, named Jump. For some reason, now we've gone backwards half a jump, this is like half a prequel to the original Jump. So, let's jump right in, see what I did there. Uh, so we've got puffer fish. Your safe state and rewind keys have been disabled. Thank you for your compliance. <laughs> That's impossible, but good luck. <laughs> um, all right, so we have ourselves an overworld with some cool music that I feel tempted to just sit here and listen to for a while, but I feel like I shouldn't do that right at the start of the LP. We've got 25 lives, which is somewhat less random than the number 12, which is what Jump gave us. You can press select on the overworld to save your game. This is important, so don't forget about it. Well, I'm glad I have the chance to save anywhere, because I don't think it really adds anything not to have that, and I guess I should have read the other sign. Hey, life farm. Something about this place seems suspicious. Hmm, I wonder if it's that stuff in the top left. No, I think I'm supposed to corner glitch into one of these blocks or something. Uh, alright. Say hello. Press start on the overworld to view some info about the level you're currently on. Ooh, I wonder who made Yoshi's house. They must have been an expert level designer. Lazy snore on Pyro. Alright. Times one. I don't remember what that means exactly. Let's save. Because I've gone through a lot of pain to get this far. I don't want to lose now. Beginner friendly. And we've got dragon coins. Nothing in Yoshi's house. There's no dragon coins in Yoshi's house. Alright, so I haven't actually played any Super Mario World in a while, so I'm expecting this to not go super well right off the bat, but hopefully I can avoid dying to the first enemy, which I seem to have already done. Got some coins here, gotta watch out for more of those bonsai bills. I was half expecting to need to uh, dodge one as I went up that hill there, but apparently not. Wow, my other fireball just hit the wall. Um, okay, so there's... Okay, jump off this guy, grab the coin. Got it. Point of advice, press the B button to jump across gaps. Wait, you've already figured that out? <laughs> Thank goodness I had a sign giving me that tutorial. Oh, hey, so the dragon coins change color when uh, I get the midpoint to tell me that I my dragon coins have been saved, which is nice. Alright, run up here. That guy got dodged expertly. <laughs> Not. Boink. It's kind of a weird way to kill him. Alright, so... Well, the game is not pulling any punches there, I suppose. I'm assuming I go down here. Thank goodness I actually do. I'm kind of curious if there's something when I go back this way. Yeah, alright, cool. <laughs> I hope I don't need the star for anything over here, because... I've already messed that up, if that's the case. Ugh. If I had gone down to the bottom level... Hey, they're, they're red up there. I don't know if that means that it saved at when I got all five, or if it's just red because the first couple dragon coins were already red. I'm not really sure how that works. So, that's the first level. Definitely actually lives up to its name. The first level in the original jump was a weirdly hard, especially for World 1. It actually slacked off for a while after that. <laughs> Alright, so we're getting classic 1FO blocks with Charlie's gliding all over the place. I failed that miserably. There we go. Let's actually try doing the thing properly this time. Poink. Get some coins. Swoopers. Not anywhere near a cave, so good thing there wasn't anything down there that was dangerous. Let's just take my time and burn everything. That's my motto. It's probably the best motto one could have. Alright, there's not death down here. There isn't anything else either, but that's besides the point. At least I assume there's nothing else. Yeah, the screen stopped scrolling down there, so there isn't anything else. Fine eats those things. 
as kind of a stealth tutorial. So these blocks are ones that I can't actually go through, which means if that's what they mean, then I'm not sure what the block inside that suspicious room in Yoshi's house was for then. <laughs> wow, didn't expect that one. Yeah, I didn't really react properly to that obstacle, but at least I know what these things are now. Alright, so just hold right and things will work out. Probably not a good motto for later levels in this hack, but uh, it seemed to work there. Whoa, no, no, no. Nice try. In before something else gets me. Hmm. I wonder what those message blocks say. <laughs> I'm sure some guy will figure out a way to read those things. Jump about that with some more of Jump's trademark uh, type of level design. I never checked you made this level, and wow, that was a bad place to take a hit. Seriously, it was a green Koopa. Okay, so we go up here. Uh, jump. Oh, wow, it ate through the floor. <laughs> So we probably want to go this way for one reason or another, or not. Okay, so now we can see how this is supposed to work. So we've got the pipe, we go through it, trigger the brown blocks, go back, and now we're back over here. Thankfully we can get up there pretty easily without the Koopa, so nothing too weird. Uh, let's just let you guys run off. See ya. Pacifist run. <laughs> hmm. Why do I feel like... Oh wait, this is going to be invisible block. Alright, yeah. For a second I was like, I'm gonna jump up onto the Yoshi and glitch out somehow, aren't I? But no. Thankfully, I already know that if you uh, hold up while you're on Yoshi, you can look out a little bit higher. Um, okay, so just do that. I don't know if I have to rush here. I'm assuming I don't, but... Maybe there's something I get if I do rush. Nope. In fact, it, all I get for uh, rushing would be blocked progress, which isn't exactly the most exciting reward I've ever seen, but... Ooh, a one-up. Not sure what I got that for. Oops. Oh, it's to teach me about the one-up checkpoints. All right. Because jump one-half is mostly vanilla, as far as I recall, I'm saying. Be precise, a shortcut will appear near the regular midpoint. Jump into the lava to see for yourself. No thanks. <laughs> I don't think I'll be doing a demo of that today. I'm tired of playing as Mario all the time? Give Luigi a go. Pfft, who plays as Luigi? I wonder if he actually plays any different, though. I also wonder what those coin formations are supposed to mean. Maybe uh, there's a way to get over the... Nope. Okay, it's just supposed to give me a big one-half symbol. <laughs> that next level tile is running away from me. I didn't understand what was going on before, but now that it happened a second time, I can see it. Okay, we've got more dragon coins in this level. Home run derby. With some nice custom music and some not nice Yoshi prevention. Bye, Yoshi. Alright. Coins. Koopa. I always want to think this music is from Kirby, but I don't think it is. I just don't know where it's actually from. I'm sure some guy has put it in one of his videos. I don't... I was wondering if there were going to be some invisible coins down here to annoy me. I didn't think the game would actually trap me in, though, so I wasn't really too worried about that. Whoops. Dang it. I should have duck jumped there. Well, good enough. Since I've been playing more Spabex than Super Mario World recently, uh, my feeling, I, it still feels like it's super heavy gravity. And is this a baseball bat? Alright, so it's the not broken part of the cave, or at least less broken part of the cave. 
Poink, poink. <laughs> Take that, noob. So, I don't get to use my fireballs, even if I spin jump here. I can't get around it that way, apparently. But that's okay. The baseball bat is at least more fun than the power-up. Well, that didn't work out super well. But it was good enough for this. Since we're still in the early level. Oh, no. It was a trap. Okay, so it definitely hits both sides, and I gotta be careful whacking the Koopas, though, because it just seemed to whack the shell away and hit me back in return. Alright, I actually kind of needed the power-up. Don't want to die in this part of World 1. Yeah, this guy's probably also a trap. Let's not whack him with the baseball bat. It's probably gonna fly into the pipe and hit me in the face. Some less rude chucks, especially with this baseball bat around. Whoops. That's not what I meant to do there. It didn't really work either, so... Uh, anything in these? I suspect probably not, but... And now I respawn the chuck. Good for that. Thankfully those bullet bills were perfectly timed, so... Alright, back up to two tier 2 power-ups. Not that it matters when I'm holding the baseball bat, but... Die. <laughs> Let's just start whacking these guys away and hope that none of them come to hit me in the face. That actually was pretty smooth and totally not intended anyway, but... Uh, pretty sure I can make it up there, yeah. Uh, jump to trigger that guy. I have a feeling standing on this brown block will do something, but... I don't know what it's supposed to do. So we've got tons of coins with more jump one half. For some reason Super Mario World level makers seem to be a huge fan of putting these things in the level. Let's not let that guy wake up in my hands. That's like the rookie mistake to end all rookie mistakes. And know that uh, brown block did not actually contain, well, cause anything to appear. No weird snake block shenanigans. It's also funny how I can hit the Goomba like a million times with the baseball bat. Still haven't managed a 50. But that's okay, I've still gained like 10 lives since the start of the game, so I can't really complain. Alright, so yeah, that's all the dragon coins here. World 1's going pretty well so far. Over hills and valleys. Is this going to be... Wait, I keep forgetting to check the people who made these levels. I have to go back and do that. Um, yeah, you're a power-up. I figured as much. And I also have Yoshi back. So now I can use him to save myself from a pit once. It's like... Yoshi is basically a get-out-of-jail-free card that you feel slightly more guilty for using. Oh, hooray! There's Dragon Coin number one. Oh! Uh, okay, this is just going to lead to the cannon, isn't it? But it may also have a dragon coin back here somewhere. Okay, so I need to hit one of these blocks, and then the blue blocks give me a way out. But I don't currently have a way to hit those blocks, so let's see what else is in this cave. I may have to bring one something in from outside. Forget trying to eat that guy from there. Ugh, I kind of want to trigger that guy, but... Dang it. That was dumb. Okay, that's not what I want. Um, oh, the blue block's over there. That must be what they're for. That Monty Mole decided to give me a jump scare, apparently. You can die. Alright, so let's hurry on up, get into this pipe. I don't remember how the robot... I don't remember how the throw block thing works, where it, if you bring it through a pipe, I think sometimes it can last forever, but I don't know the, the mechanics behind it, so I'm not going to trust that it will. There might be like some other condition that I'm not aware of, like some sprite slot related thing. Just got to be patient, wait for these guys. In this case, let's just wait for the bullet bill. He didn't get me last time, but better safe than sorry, I suppose. 
Alright, now we're up at the top. I'm sure the t TAS that eventually comes out of this game will, like, throw a ice block and spin jump on it to get up there. Dang it, if I didn't have... Dang it, that wasn't quite good enough. Well, the bullet bill will be option number three. <laughs> Hooray! Alright. So now we're up to three dragon coins, which, yeah, means of course the midpoint's coming. I probably should have gotten midpoint before checking the pipe, just in case it dragged me off and who knows where, but... Alright, this doesn't go below the screen, so we're good. Alright, mole up there. I think... I'm not sure if I'm supposed to keep him around. It looks like it wants me to do that, but no. I don't know why there was a mole up there. Is there a way to get up there? That Koopa... Ugh, that looks like a nasty jump, but... I feel like it's possible to get onto this guy. There we go. Alright, there's my dragon coin number four. I don't want to miss any of these. I miss whatever's in the pipe, but that's probably not super important, considering it's just the obvious way on. Alright. Die all these plants. And, okay, so here's the goal. Is the other dragon coin inside the pipe? I just want to check real quick. Because that'll save me having to play this level again. Ugh, I can't see down there. Whatever. Let's just complete it and I'll go back in for the dragon coin. It could also be up there. But I don't know how to actually get up there. It's not like I have a cape yet. I haven't seen any capes at all, to be honest. And I don't see any, like, vines... At least not obvious ones. Hmm. Maybe the pipe brings me up there. Alright, let's see what's in this mysterious pipe. For a second I was worried that it would just not be enterable and just troll me that way, but I didn't think the game would actually do that in World 1. I don't know if it'll do it at all, to be honest, but... Alright, let's... I can get this before it bakes up, and this might be where the last dragon coin is. Dang it, I was really hoping. It's a star. Is this important? Might just be a nice little bonus here. It certainly makes that a lot easier. Oh, there's my dragon coin. Okay. Crisis averted, we got them all. And I got a 1-up too, and missed the moon, apparently. Hmm. I didn't even see a route down there. Maybe I was just moving too quickly. Okay, so I, I would need the star. Well, that's not happening now. I doubt I could get there just on iframes alone, so... Whatever. Not getting the moon, apparently. I know, I know, I'm lame for not coming back to the level again, but... I've already beaten it twice, so... Alright, so just when I thought I was getting close to the end of World 1, seems like we've still got a whole pile left to go. Hot kicking. No feathers, no Yoshis. So, Mr. Football Guy, I suppose you're going to be the theme of the level. I hope there's none raining down from the sky. I'll just wait for this one to bounce over my head. This is probably just a flower. Yeah, I don't see why you'd give me a 1-up at this point, but... Yeah, kind of hard to nail him with two fireballs in that short a time period before I land on his head, so... That's not gonna work. Let's just land on him. Gotta be really careful with the football chucks, because... They're pretty random if you actually let them do something where the randomness is going to like, take effect. Everything I've done so far, though, has been able to completely get around the randomness. Well, that sucks. I gave him a shield. <laughs> I can't hit him with my fireballs now. Uh, yellow switch blocks. 
So that's... that's... Okay, so presumably I have to get the normal exit, and then I get the yellow switch blocks maybe right after I get the normal exit, or maybe I get them... Oh, it does It looks like they just make it easier. I'm assuming I will have to get the yellow switch before I... Uh, no, darn it. <laughs> I'm assuming I have to get the yellow switch before I get the second exit in this level, but... Alright, that went a little bit better this time around. I really don't want to die, because if I... This looks familiar. <laughs> yeah, I figured there would be a flower in here. I wonder if there's a way to get up there. I'm sure there is, but... Probably involves a football or something. Dang it. Okay, so... I gotta duck jump to get up there. And that looks like there might be a goal. No. In fact, it's only at the midpoint, which would make sense, but I was wondering if some of the dragon coins might be on the secret exit route. Okay, probably want to try to go fast here. This room also looks pretty familiar from Vanilla. Whoops. Oh, well, I gotta wait for this one anyway, so no big deal. Alright, this one I can get on to. Maybe I shouldn't have, but at least I took out the chuck, which means that I can just go get this dragon coin. Don't know if these sink into the lava. They do, so I want to be careful. Oh, shoot. Okay. I was starting to think maybe they just sink into the lava permanently, but I didn't think they were like that considering none of the other ones were, and I don't think it could switch in a single room, but... Alright. Some weird stuff with the physics there, but it seemed to work. One thing about Super Mario World is if you hold the jump button in the air, you actually hover a little bit, you fall a little bit slower, so... There's some weird releasing the jump button to fall faster there. Alright, yellow platforms. I'll just jump to the other side, because forget that. Um, well, that was weird, but it worked just fine. <laughs> I was definitely not really in control of that, but, well, it seems to be going well enough so far, but I still can't get to that secret exit yet, not without the yellow switch, so I guess I've just got to keep on going. It doesn't seem like it's just going to lead me to the yellow switch immediately and then, uh, like, give it to me and then make me go back into the same level, so it looks like we have to save that for later. Oh, we got ourselves a fishing fish boo guy. Alright. I still have nightmares of this guy from one of the levels in Super Mario World's central production because I did not realize you could kill him with a silver P switch, so I ended up going through a very, very tight spike base with a fishing fish guy uh, chasing me the entire time, which was not very much fun. <laughs> That, that level took me several hours to beat. The, the problem was the Silver P-Switch was in another room, so it wasn't like I could have just thought, eh, let's try the Silver P-Switch. I would have had to, like, specifically go around half the normal exit route to actually manage to get it. Wow. Didn't expect that to happen. Alright, let's just go under the Eerie this time. Okay, so I gotta go back now. And the Eerie makes it so that the timing of the hole is a lot worse. I could have just easily gone, but... Well, that didn't quite work. Whatever, it looks like it's just for a one-up, so... I don't know if I actually would want to bother with that. I 
I shouldn't be wasting my time with this one up. There might be something else up there too though, which is the only reason why I was actually trying to do anything. Oh, that guy's going ho horizontal. Didn't expect- didn't see that one coming. Alright, that's easy enough to get up. Alright, let's lure this guy over here. Oh, okay, so that's how I'm supposed to get to the one up. It's a troll. I don't think the spin jump height actually changes, really. If you're bouncing off enemy, regardless of how fast you're moving sideways. So I don't think I was ever going to get up to that, uh... The, the one up just by spin jumping on the torpedo Ted or anything. Alright, so grab this mushroom. There's the midpoint, which is nice. We've got two dragon coins, which is enough to feel like maybe I've got them all by this point, but it's not as comfortable as having three, that's for sure. Into the pipe. Anything up here? Um, this is probably for a power-up. Anything down here? Well, good thing I didn't fall in that one tile gap. Dang it. That was clumsy. Okay, so looking around the bottom here, it doesn't seem like there's much I can do, but the area is pretty open. Huh. wonder what this pipe is. Was I... Is this the actual way through the room, or is this like a bonus room? I have no idea what's going on at this point. Well, good thing I reacted fast enough for that uh, other weird guy coming at me. There we go. So now we have two vines. Don't know what I'm going to do with the second vine. It leads to another pipe. Okay, so that's where another dragon coin is. And this is just a guy. And then this leads elsewhere too. Whoa. So where does this pipe lead? Um, this level is pretty open. I've probably missed a dragon coin already. But here's a second one, so... Well, fourth one. Second one after the midpoint, that is. Alright, so now we're going back in here. I don't- I think I'll be back in the room that I was in before. Yeah, I'm all the way up here. So, I haven't missed any content in this room, but I probably missed some in the first one, so that's probably where the last dragon coin is. You get over there, and I'll just go this way. Get in the pipe, Mario. Stop bashing your head on it. What are the odds that the dragon coin is, like, just gonna be sitting right there? Let's just go quick. Goodbye. Nope. I figured this would be the case, but... You could always hold out hope, I suppose. <laughs> oh hey, the bonuses just give you a life in this game. It's actually kind of nice, just because it's so much faster. The bonus game takes you out of the game for so long. Alright, so here's the room where I expect the uh, last dragon coin to be. I almost said the one up. Why would I ever go for a one up? Okay, we just hit the midpoint, so I'm going to test if this actually lets me, if it actually saves it. Nice, it does. Okay, that's actually very convenient, because now I don't need to actually go beat the level. Alright, so let's see how long it's been. Just over 30 minutes. I think I can, nah, I think I should stop it for there. So, been pretty fun so far, some very rompy levels. The levels at the start of jump were also pretty rompy. Uh, the difficulty curve just kind of dropped off a cliff and jump, though. Like, it was really, really easy. Uh, like, rompy levels like this, and then suddenly it was much, much harder. So this game, I think, judging by ha the way it's advertised and whatnot, it's probably going to be a bit smoother in that regard, but... We didn't really see any of the difficulty in Jump till the end of World 1, so can't say for sure yet. See you next time. <laughs>